Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Black Queen Prophetess channel, where I practice cardamancy and tarot readings. Today, I will be doing Leo. Leo, last um, week, you only got one view on your video, so you didn't make the top five. No, no. Maybe this week. Maybe this week. Okay, so um, for those who are new, the way you get into the top five here on the Black Queen Prophetess channel is by being the top viewed video for this week, and you will be prioritized next week. The second way that you can do that is by <clears throat> it being your season. And your season is only one season away because Kansas is next and then you. So you can wait until then and you'll be done first. Okay. Every week of your season. Okay. Now, if you stop viewing me, all the Leos don't watch my stuff. Well, I will discontinue doing readings for Leo until it's their season. Okay? Or otherwise directed by the Holy Spirit. And last, I'd like to let you know that if you'd like to do a reading with me here at the Black Queen Prophetess channel, please email me. It will be in the descriptions below and I will schedule you a personal reading. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get into your reading and starting it off with a prayer. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. I yield myself to you to receive and to convey the message you have for Leo for the week of June 19th to June 25th. I thank you for clear hearing to hear your message clearly. I thank you for discernment to judge correctly. And I pray that you bless the viewers and listeners of this message. May this message should home and resonate with those it is supposed to resonate to. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right. <clears throat> Leo, 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 Leo. How are you doing? I hope you had a wonderful Juneteenth uh, weekend and Father's Day weekend. If you are a father, happy Father's Day or belated Father's Day. I hope they celebrated you appropriately. <clears throat> so, Holy Spirit want to talk about this problematic woman in your life. It may be a single mother. It's almost like, Leo, you are a, uh, a mama's boy or a, a, a mama's girl, like you're very close with your mother, but she is <clears throat> Or your mother, I mean, you may not be close with your mom. Well, no, you are a golden child. That uh, Jack of Hearts is, is, is a Pisces. But that's the golden child. My spirit says, the Holy Spirit is definitely saying that this is like your mom. 
you know, and she's a little too close for comfort. I wouldn't be surprised if a relationship came in here. Here you go, Leo. There you go. There you came out right here in the king of spades. This could be a wife as well. Well, no, this is not a wife because the queen of spades is a, is a single mother. So it could be your children's mother. Okay. It may be the mother of your children. And she may be playing some favoritism here with the Pisces child. Hmm. Yeah, this woman is definitely a single mother and she's problematic. She's probably still in love with you. Leo, I know you ain't surprised by that at, at all. At all. Yep, being in love. She's still in love with you. That 10, that's being in love. That problematic woman, that your baby mama still loves you. She's still in love with you. Okay, Leo. And she's causing problems here with that nine of spades. Mm-hmm. She's, she's causing problems. Adversity. In your life. Look at how she's looking at. She's causing adversity. You probably are trying to move on to someone new. Mm-hmm. Change for better. This seven of spades. And you looking right at it. Like, she's still in love with you. She's causing problems because she wants you to be with her. Okay? Nine of spades also is lost. She's losing you. She's lost you. She's lost you. And she's feeling some type of way. She's still in love with you. And she's using these kids to get to you. Okay? And you're... The king here is looking at these seven of spades and you, I mean I mean seven of hearts and you're you're changing for the better. You you're looking for change for better love, something better for yourself. You feel some way about this Aries that came in. Mm-hmm. Yep, and she looking right at you. So yeah, your children's mother is definitely um losing you here. The outcome is this queen of spades. And now this may not be a person as opposed to uh, a opportunity, a work opportunity for you or business opportunity. This business woman, this business, this business woman is coming in your life and giving you an opportunity. Okay. Yes. And you'll be having a new job, but you know, that your 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 children's mother, either that I mean your children's mother is that's why I can only go with what I'm seeing here. I don't know what to say, ladies. 
Okay. He's choosing his career over you. This may just be, um, if this is not a, uh, your children's mother, the Holy Spirit said for the ladies, this may be your children's father and they just happen to be a Libra. Okay. He just so happened to be a Libra. And he's not really letting go. And them Libras, let me tell you something. And, and even for the guys, this this queen is is a Libra. Your baby mama's a Libra. And them Libras do not like letting go, honey. No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay. No, they don't. You can also read this where you have the outcome of this boss lady and this is you. This could, the when the king and the queen of the same suit is here, um, the jack is just announcing what they're saying. And I, I feel like this is a career change and you're choosing your career and not your baby mama or your baby daddy. Okay. He wants to, they, they are not trying to let you go. They are not, not trying to let you go, child. At all. <laughs> uh, kind of, you know, linking it to the Libra. She's even considered opening up your relationship in order for this relationship to work. She's not trying to lose you. Because in Libra, like, there was menage a trois and open relationship, and you were in that relationship um, situation. You was in it, but oh no, child. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Holy Spirit, what's the final words you have for your Leos? What is the final word you have for your Leos? Da, 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 da. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. Okay. It looks like the God is giving you the right to cut them off. Cut them off. Okay. This is a sword with a crown and some greenery from it. And it's a hand from a cloud. And to me, I see that, that, that this is... Uh, the Holy Spirit, this is God saying here, it's time for you to take your sword. What's, what other reason would you need a sword for? But to cut it up, okay? To cut it, cut it, cut it, cut that problematic woman a loose, okay? Go ahead with your career, she'll be fine. Okay, she's using the kids to manipulate you to stay, but it's not working. Okay. Keep him up moving. Cut that dead weight off. It's also making a difficult decision. That decision is to leave that Libra. Okay. You may be also choosing this 
Aries over that Libra as well. But I'm, I'm believing that you, you're, to, you're, you're going, you're, it's a job situation that is taking you away from your children's mother. I, and I'm also seeing that maybe you're not breaking off. Breaking, well, no, you got the sword there. Yeah, you are definitely breaking off. I said maybe you are just putting some distance. You have to go away for business and the Libra doesn't like it. The problematic woman doesn't like it. The, um... Libra doesn't like it. Okay. But she ain't nothing. She she already lost you. And then you got the final word to say it's time to cut up and off. Okay, it's time to cut them off. Okay, don't 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 drag them along. That's all I have for Leo. For you, Leo, and I'll see you next week for your weekly read. Bye.